Hi, everyone. It's Dr. Purcell. Thanks so much for hanging with me. I really wanted this to be a high noon Wednesday event, but I ran a little bit over with my last patient. So anyway, Happy New Year. The new year is fresh. It's filled with so much promise. And no pressure, because every single day is filled with promise. It doesn't matter if today is January 4th or it's January 30th, because your body loves you unconditionally. So no matter what you did yesterday, today is all that matters, right? So whenever you're ready, then that's the time to get started and make some small changes with your health. And so even today, you can choose an avocado in place of a hunk of cheese. You can choose an apple for dessert. I'm really into kiwis these days. I love kiwis. And they got such like a cute little marketing guy. He looks like a little kiwi monster. Your kids will love him. Um, so from every small thing that you do, big things come. And everything that you do matters. So don't think for a moment that you don't matter because every single thing that you do matters, everything you say, smiles that you give to people, the choices you make, it all matters. And it all just kind of helps the world a little bit and the people around us and our neighborhoods. And there's really no action too small if you want to take an action towards better health because you're so important to many people. You're worth it. You're important to your family. You're important to your coworkers people at your church, people you don't know, people that you smile at in the grocery store. You're important. So I want to remind you about that because it's really important to do something kind for yourself each day. Yeah, something kind. So how do you take better care of yourself? Well, I've got a list of five things for you to kick off the new year. And chances are you will already know a lot of these things. You're going to know what I'm talking about today. But what you need and what I need are reminders. We need to be reminded of all these good, juicy things. And then we're like, oh, yeah, I need to do that. I used to do that. I'm going to do that again. And that's why I'm giving you my Wednesday health shower. I was thinking about it. I wasn't in the shower, but it was... January 1st, and I was like, how can I get in front of more people and inspire them? And then I was like, oh, Facebook Live. Of course, that's how I'm going to do it. So here's my list. Number one for the new year, eat right. Okay? And you know that you're supposed to eat right. Maybe you don't exactly know what you're supposed to do, but food is your gasoline, right? We gas up our cars every week, a couple times a week. You got to gas up yourself. Right? And I make a joke and I say, okay, you can't repair on donuts and coffee, but it's really true because your body needs the enzymes, the minerals, the vitamins that it can only get from real whole food to help you function your best and to function optimally. So I want you to think power packed and I want you to think of food as your foundation because it is, it's your gasoline and we all want really good high quality gas, don't we? I know I do, in my body for sure. Okay, so your food choices can bring you either closer to disease or closer towards youth and longevity and a vibrant life, right? So we want to make good choices, and it all depends on what we pop in our mouth. So no cake pops. We're not going to pop those. But we're going to pop avocados, and we're going to pop kiwis, and we're going to pop apple slices, and we're going to eat half a banana. We're going to have some nut butter and some seeds and some yummy Mary's Gone crackers, right? Yeah. So if you're looking to boost your health in a big way, now this isn't for everybody because some of us need to start small. We need to start with eating three square meals a day. We need to start by swapping out the junky snacks and putting in the healthy snacks. But if you're ready and you want to just boost your health in a really, really big way, here's how you do it. Juice your butt off. Juice. Do you have a juicer? Dust it off. Put it on the counter. And you start small. You start really small. You start with apples, celery, and spinach. Three ingredients in your juice. And you do it at least five times a week. 
Don't like celery? Okay, put in cucumbers. So now we have apple, cucumbers, and spinach. Three ingredients done more days than not will change your health. And you drink 12 to 16 ounces five days a week. I pour mine over ice. For some reason, ice makes it this most delicious beverage. And then I move on. So one, we got to eat. Two, move your body. Step it up, shake it, move it. So your incredible body is designed to move. That's right. So new studies show that three short 10-minute walks a day are better than one long 30-minute walk. And check this out. If you walk one mile a day for the entire year, you will lose 10 pounds. And that's with not changing your diet at all. So we're not designed to be sedentary. I'm sitting here. I'm sitting in my chair. No good. I actually should be at like a treadmill desk or something. Okay? And then drink water. Some of you are so good at drinking water. Other ones of you, you know who you are. I would say there's like 25% of my patient base, which is not good at drinking water at all. And so I want you to picture this. So you're going to sit here with me. You're going to close your eyes. You, we are now in Venice. We are in a gondola and we're drifting down a canal. We have this delightful baritone serenading us and the wind is in our hair, right? So we're in a gondola. Okay. Now, picture this in your mind. You're in a gondola on a beach stuck in the sand. No baritone singer, no water, no canals no Venice, no go, right? You're not going anywhere. So water, when we drink water, it's our water taxi. It taxis toxins out of the body and helps hydrate things like our joints, the discs in our back. This is what we need. This is so important to, to keep everything moving or else as we age, we just... You know, when we're born, we're so flexible. And then as we age, we become more and more stiff, almost like a tree. And so water actually combats that. It hydrates our skin. It makes us look youthful and plump, keeps our discs going so we don't end up with slip discs. I mean, it's really a beautiful thing. So drink some more water. All right. So that's number three. Number four is be your own boss. And what I really mean by this is get in touch with what your needs are. Are you hungry? Are you thirsty? Are you cranky? When you're not feeling right, just take a minute and sit with yourself and figure out what's going on in your body. Because the more you get in touch with yourself, the better you can help meet your own needs. Because your body is always talking to you. It's sending you messages. And what happens is, is that we ignore them or we don't know how to interpret them or what to do with them. And a lot of the times it's because we're going and pushing so hard and we're so busy that either we don't stop and pause and think about it or we just don't even hear the knocking. So what happens is, is your body talks to you louder and louder, and eventually it's like hammers pounding on your head, and you've got a migraine. And this happens a lot with women and hormonal complaints too, menstrual irregularities. So just by taking a few moments when you're not feeling good to just pause and check in with yourself and just say, what's going on with me today? What do I need? Maybe I need to eat. Maybe my blood sugar is crashing. But you deserve this because so many people rely on you. And this is really the year to take charge and put yourself at the front of the line and pay attention to what your needs are so that you can better help the people around you. Because you deserve equal or better treatment than you give to others. You do. You deserve it. I'm telling you right now, you deserve it. So a wise woman once told me that she came from her saucer and not her cup. So if you picture a tea saucer and then a cup in it. So I want you to think about who you are. Are you someone who gives to others to the point that both your cup and saucer are empty? And if so, then we need to do a little bit of work in that area. Don't you think? Okay, and so number five is put yourself to bed. How long are your days? 
be honest. Are your days 12 hours, 14 hours, 16 hours? And doesn't your hard-worked body deserve a rest? And what about your mind, that busy, busy machine that's going all day long? Doesn't that deserve a rest? So I'm going to let you in on a little secret. When I was a little girl, I wanted to be Wonder Woman because she had some really killer boots and some awesome golden cufflinks. And she had this really great pose. It was like that Wonder Woman power pose. And now Harvard researchers have determined that the Wonder Woman power pose actually helps lower cortisol and boost testosterone. <laughs> and you can check it out. There's actually a TED Talk video about it by a woman uh, named Amy Cuddy. It's really fascinating. But how awesome is that? Like Wonder Woman had it and she knew it like 40 years ago. So you can be Wonder Woman during the day. But Wonder Woman sleeps. Wonder Woman didn't work 24-7. She took time for herself. I mean, she had to polish those cufflinks. I mean, you think that just, they naturally stay that shiny all the time. So your body is designed to repair and restore itself at nighttime. And the best, best rest, the mantra I use is early to bed, early to rise, or it could be down with the chickens, up with the chickens, the roosters. Um, but that's how you will get your best rest. And if you're one of those people that stays up after midnight, I would say try to get yourself in bed before midnight and ideally by 1030. But that's a stretch for some of you night owls out there. But good quality sleep boosts your immune system and it repairs body damage that happens during the day. It also helps support your brain chemistry and keep you sane, which is a good thing. So science has proven that if you get four hours of sleep or less a night, it interferes with your ability to be rational and your decision making. And you need to be able to make great decisions. I mean, you are in charge of a lot of things. A lot of people are responsible for you, and you owe it to yourself to put yourself to bed. Absolutely. So the impact to you and to society as a whole, if you <laughs> deprive yourself of sleep, is just not a good choice. So this is what my New Year's boost is all about. It's about giving you a Wednesday health shower uh, with some new information, some information you already knew uh, to remind you that you're important and you need to take care of yourself. And I'll see you each Wednesday at high noon. Right now I'm on mountain time. And my goal is for it to keep you motivated and on the lookout for healthy habits and you know, you kind of become who you hang around. So if you and I start hanging around a little bit more often, maybe some of these tips will rub off on you. All right, so you take good care. It was great to see you, and we'll see you again next week. Bye-bye.